Welcome to CNC Machinist Made Easy. Today, introducing G codes, video number 14. Today is an essential video. Very, very essential. You either take snapshots of a screen I'm about to show you, um, or you can put it on pause, whatever. Um, introducing G codes. Now, G codes are codes that machine, CNC machines run on. Now, when I say that, there are such things as conversational machines and, and different types of programming. But when you talk about softwares, they have softwares out there that'll generate G codes from images, a CAD slash CAM software, such as MasterCAM, Virtual Gibbs, Bobcad Cam, Feature Cam, Edge Cam. They have several softwares out there. They're called CAD CAM softwares. These CAD CAM softwares, the CAD side, draws the images or imports the images these engineers make or you create and the cam side will generate that image it's a digital file like a DXF or a DWG will generate G codes off them images that's why G codes are so essential you can get into your Mazax and your Hercos on on awesome awesome programming um, abilities well you get into these softwares in the old days they started with G codes and when CNC started, they started with tape readers, but them things are very rarely used today. They went to G-code, G-code programming. They call it that because it is a ton of G's, and each G has representations. There's also M codes. Some, some people refer to them as G and M codes. There's multiple codes. But overall, we call them G-codes. Now, it is essential what I'm going to share with you right now because... I don't want you to get overwhelmed. So I am going to tell you something that often most of you won't believe, but this is how I teach all my guys G codes. I am going to show you an introduction right here. Right here. Right, you are looking at right now, if, if, if nobody's ever run G codes before, you're probably looking at this thinking, what does this mean? This is an introduction of any and every program almost under the sun that you will ever write in advanced G-code machining. There's four lines right here, and this is the only four lines I am going to cover at this introductory. We'll do multiple G-code um, videos, but in this, this is an essential video. Now, some people might rearrange them this, and some people might say this and that, or, but I want you to take a look at these four lines. I want you to memorize these four lines because if you're a machinist now or you're a machinist in 30 years from now and if they're still doing G codes, you are going to be using this strategy for the introduction of most every program you'll ever have. Now you're thinking, what does this all mean? I'm never going to be able to. Yes, you will. I'm going to break this down for you. You see that right there? It's the same thing except they put spaces there. A little unique thing that I learned, okay? Now what I'm going to do is pull them apart. See? You're still looking at the same numbers. It's just now there's a space between them. And now there's a, a separated and bigger spacing. Why did I do that? There. You focus on this. Take a screenshot of this. Write it down. Do whatever you have to do. This G code, these first four lines are G codes that I've learned G codes in the early 90s and I'm still using these four lines for every operation I ever start 99.9% .9 of the time. And when you learn these four, you will be able to begin and introduce a program on every level. Let's take a look at this. I don't have to talk long today because you can screenshot this and you can learn this. This is my method of doing it. And it's for Fenox, it's for Fidel, or not, not Fidel, it's Fenox, it's for Hazes, it's for a lot of your basic G code programming, one of the most basic styles out there. Now, we have N1. N1, and the, and the definition I have is above it. Everything you see, look right above it. This is almost a paragraph, if I were to write this, which I'll go through in a minute. N1, I always put in there for any operation. It was the second operation I would put in N2 in there, okay? And this is operation number one. Leave it alone, leave it in its own line. It's easy to search for, easy to find. Now the second one, M6. Now there's an M code for you. M6 means you want the machine to change the tool. You're saying, hey machine, CNC, I want you to change a tool. Well, it's saying, great, well what tool do you want? 
I want you to change it to tool 1. So you'll have N1, operation number 1, change the tool to tool 1, right here. The next line, and it will do that, it'll read this in order. A CNC will always read an entire line at the same time. It'll read a tire. So oftentimes you can rearrange these however you want to. It will read the code simultaneously for the most part. Um, here we have rapid. Rapid. G0 means rapid. I don't know if I've ever gone through that possibly in early videos. Rapid means the fastest that machine will go. When, some, when you want to buy a machining center or look, run a machining center, say, what's the rapids? Rapid traverse, they call it. What's the rapids? Some of the machines now will go over a 1,000 inches a minute. That's just when they're moving from to the next hole to drop. The fastest they can move. Them aren't feed rates. Them are the maximum machine that speed will move. So what you're saying is here, rapid. G90, you'll know, is, is, a, is what they call an absolute. Remember when we went on the video, the incrementals and absolutes, where this is where this comes in. You are saying, um, you're, 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 you're telling this machine a few things before we start telling it precisely what to do. You're saying, I want you to rapid. I want you to do it absolutely. In other words, any number I give you, I want it from the absolute zero. Not an incremental zero, not from the previous hole I gave you, but absolutely. To the G54 offset, that's our zero we talked about. You could have a zero anywhere you want. You could have multiple zeros, but the default zero for G-code machining is G54. G55, you could have another zero over on a different vise, and you'd call that G55. G56, they go up. Depending on how new or old the machine is, you'll have more of them. They're your offset. Well, G54, and the, in the most all G-code machines, G54 is your standard default first one zero. So you're in, I'm, every time I say this, I'm going to say, just like a sentence, you're saying, hey, machine, I want you to rapid to the absolute points using this zero to x0, y0. You can put anything you want in there. I'm just doing it to be easy. If you knew you were going to drill a hole at x1, y1, you would have x1 point. A machine always needs a point after the whole number. Even if it's a one point, you put one point, but one point. If you put one, it's going to point zero, 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 one. Default to that. One point, Y, one point, M3, meaning, okay, we're to that position, turn that baby spindle on clockwise. Okay, great, but you got to identify how fast. S, S is how fast. 1,200, 1,200 RPMs. Now, I'm going to read this like a sentence to you. This is operation number one. Machine, I want you to tain, turn this, change the tool to tool one. Then I want you to rapid, absolutely referring to this zero, to X0, Y0, I want you to turn the spindle on at 1,200 RPMs. Now I'm going to, in the next video, I'm going to possibly, I'm not going to promise, but I'm going to take this program and I will write that, that same program in the thing. I could make a small MDI program or I can write a small program and you will see that this machine will do that. Line 4. G43. G43, in the best terms I can come up with, the easiest and user is friendly to understand is you're saying, I am going, I want you to activate a height. Remember when we talked about each tool has a different length, each tool has a different uh, length and offset. You're saying, okay, I'm going to introduce the height. I'm activating a certain height. A height of what? H1. H1 is the height of H, of, is, it, is it tool one? It doesn't have to be. But to make it easy, in fact, some of the newer machines will say, hey, do you know T1 and H1 don't match up? They don't need to match up, but it's very customary to do that until you start getting into more advanced machining where you would like to use a different height. I always like to keep my T's and H's matched up. Doesn't mean tool one, it just means the height. you want to use height one. To make everything easy, keep them numbers the same, at least in the beginning. You'll know you can use height and tools differently if you choose to do so, but that's way more advanced. So activate your height, the height of tool one, for this case, tool one. And remember, you're still wrapping. Now you got a, now you have an XY, you had an XY move up there, it went to that position. Now you got a Z move. Three inches above your part, and M8 means you turn your coolant on, okay? Now these are the first four lines. I don't care what you do, I don't care how you do it. Go to bed at night, memorize them. I'll close my eyes right now, N. I'll, I'll close my eyes and I'll, and, and I'll read this. N1, M621, G0, G90, G54, X0, Y0, M3, 1200, G43, H1, Z3 point, M8. I read that in my head just now. Learn it. 
Learn what each one of these means. I don't care if you're machining for five days or, or 20 years. This are the four lines that are critical and essential. If I did not put an M8 in here, your coolant will not come on. If I did not put a G0 in here, it may not know that it wants you to rapid. If I did not identify these things, these are the things you want to identify. I will say it, now I'll read this in a program just like you're talking to the machine. Machine, this is operation number one. I want you to change to tool one. Rabbit to the absolute point of this offset to, the, to that position. I want you to turn the spindle on at 1200 RPMs. Activate a height of tool one or H1. And I want you to fly down three inches above that part. How do we know that's, that tool is three inches above that part? Watch my videos of touching tools off. Now, because it knows that H1, where the top of the part is, so if I say three point, it's going to stop three hundred thousand or three inches before, excuse me, three inches before that part. M8, turn your coolant on. Every program, every program that you run, 99% of the time, these four lines will get you on the run with that program. You have no idea how much you will learn just memorizing, learning, and understanding. Take a screenshot of that uh, of, of this right here. Write it down in a notebook and study it. And don't move on to the next videos until you know what not only how they're used, but in in uh, what they're what they're used for. Use the definitions above so you're aware of what you're commanding that machine to do. My name is Matt. I am here with introducing G Code CNC machining made easy. I want to thank you for watching. And just practice this. Thank you.